Hello and welcome back to Haybeam's Plays, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Just finished our 31st win and hopefully gonna keep this streak going. Yeah, uh, run number 32, hard mode Eden. Yeah, let's go. Seed for today's run is gonna be TWJJ63WT, starting off with Spider Butt. Um, a, an extra health from dinner and the crow's heart which I am just gonna drop right now actually we're gonna hold on to it and the reason we're, we want to hold on to it is because oops because the crow's heart what will what it will do is it will pull damage from your bottom heart container versus your top heart container and what that means is if I have a soul heart I'm also gonna use spider butt right here on Brad um, it means if we have a soul heart and we take a hit right now um, we will retain our soul heart and that damage will go to our red heart so it's actually a pretty good item in this in this instance um, but later on in runs when you're trying to go for Polaroid invincibility you don't typically want it We also get ourselves a Hanged Man card right now, um, which will give us uh, flying for one room. We also, ooh, Petrified Poop, though. Sorry. I mean, I like, I think the Crow's Heart has an interesting, has interesting uses, but the Petrified Poop is a far superior item. So I'm not, I'm not going to min-max and take this with me in case we get hit. I'm just going to say, you know what? Thank you, but no thank you. Also, perfect room to use spider butt just to do some general damage and to slow down the diglets. Um, the spider butt is good. Um, it's gotten buffed a few times, and it's an item I like seeing. It's also like a classic I uh, Isaac item. Um, it's been in the game since the vanilla version, and it's kind of just like has, you know, makes me feel good when I see it. Um, this is... Uh, I forget. I'm pretty sure this is Leo. We're gonna take it. Uh, Taurus. <sighs> yeah, I should learn what those are. I did not want to take it. Um, if I had remembered that it was Taurus, I probably would not have taken it, considering now that our, our movement speed is just shot to hell. Um, ooh. Nice, we get a... F ooh. This might have been the room to use flying in, but... We do have bombs, so I might bomb to try and get a secret room to the left of there. But, anyways, uh, it could be worse, Taurus. Man, we have a tinted rock here. Uh, we'll make a game time decision on, on what we want to do. I'm just gonna wait till he spawns some flies before I use my active item. Duke of Flies is not going to give us any issues right here. We probably won't even hit our Taurus before we kill him. If we do, that'd be great, but... Uh, actually, we might. Yeah, I'm just going to let it proc. There we go. Bye. Some bombs would have been great there, or movement speed. I do think I'd... Let's check, let's check the shop first. If there's a really good premium item, which there's not... Then I'm just gonna buy the soul heart and bomb that tinted rock, and we'll keep on moving. I know the secret room cannot be there to the right there. I stand corrected. Get even more money. Wow. Do we want the ladder though? No. Seeing if we could get a reroll. Um. But we were not able to, so we'll just keep on going down. Yeah, so we're set. Um, I knew that we at least had to have one heart container, because we had... Huh. We actually spawned with no... We spawned with no hearts. We um, or we only had soul hearts to start, and then we were given 
the bat, the lunch. So, pretty interesting. I think we had two soul hearts to start then. So we were in fine position. Um, but again, when you don't know how much damage you have or how much life you have, um, better to play like you are one hit away from death. So I am going to push this barrel all the way over to this wall. Also, you can see Taurus. This device twice is activated now. Um, it'll basically give you the uh, unicorn unicorn horn effect where you're totally invulnerable and you deal contact damage. Oh, yeah. All right. Pretty solid start, honestly, so far. I probably should have bought a key when I was in that other store on the previous floor, but uh, whatever. Hopefully we'll come across another one. I just don't want to have to make the decision between item room and a shop. Also, ouch. Took my eye off this dude for like one second. Oh, I cannot believe we missed that last poop. All right, petrified poop, do your thing, come on. Yeah, kind of crazy though that we are now past um, 31 wins. Uh, a month worth of running this game and we're able to keep a streak alive. That's pretty, pretty incredible. And unlike my first time around, really trying to go for any streak, um, yeah, it feels pretty, pretty nice. Full card. Full card makes that curse room a little bit tempting, but we'll wait until we finish the boss before I start fooling around with any of my my health. Also, absolutely great room for. Spider butt. We're just gonna rack up some money too. Got a nickel, sick. We'll probably end this room with like 40 cents if I had to guess. Close, 37. Yeah, we are gonna take Lost Fly. Lost flying orbital that just kind of <laughs> is a derp and goes around the room. Not super helpful, but yeah, but better out of the the regular bean. You can see there, kind of taking care of those wall clingers for us. Compost. Hmm. I'm gonna buy this half off card. Nice. I'm gonna buy a bomb and reshuffle with it. Compost is good, but bleh. what's behind there? I don't even know. I can't even tell what's behind there. Why can I not tell? Huh. Oh, it's a pill. <laughs> uh, I don't know yet. I wish we had bombs. I could use money to reroll. I probably should just do that. Yeah, let me just do that. I don't know why I'm like so <laughs> so hesitant to use my money. We're gonna get a ton of it. Get another two of spades. Sick. I think that's worth it. Oh, do we go again? Another two of spades. What the frick? <laughs> yeah, yikes. Not really getting much there. I mean, where are our old familiars? Treasure map, uh, black candle, champion's belt. I don't know. And little haunt, woo! Or little haunt, big haunt. <laughs> the uh, these little enemies are the little haunts. I'm also gonna use the spider butt after I kill this this one. Slow him down. 
clear them out, and there we go. Almost got stuck behind <laughs> behind him right there. <laughs> Torn photo is awesome. Gonna max almost max out our our tears. And a non-double deal. It's really hoping for some damage, because our damage is quite low. Looks like I will absolutely be checking out that cursed room. And yeah. I think I know where the super secret room is. But well we don't have any bombs. <laughs> So, not much I can do there. And we got Guppy's Spa. Let's go. And apparently my controller's battery is low. <laughs> um, I'm going to take Guppy's Spa with me here. Gives us a little bit of security and guarantees that we will get Polaroid invincibility. So, it is just the smart call. And we're going to re-roll. Hopefully you get something good. We don't. We get sack again. Ugh. <laughs> We're doing fine. I'm just, just feeling grumbly, you know? All right, we'll head on down to the next floor, and I'm going to grab my charger for my controller. Sorry about that. Um, we should be all set now. Have my controller plugged in. I keep thinking I'm charging it enough, but apparently I should probably just plug it in at nighttime when I'm not using it. Also, so many champions in this room. What the heck? Thank you, Taurus, for proccing right when. <laughs> I finished the room. Taurus is actually a really good item if you can max out your um, your movement speed because then you get you get an automatic proc of it in every room you walk into. And then if you get some orbitals, it can like really spiral out of control into basically like an instant rush down type of item. Like if you get Sack Dagger and have 2.0 movement speed with Taurus, like you're set. Um, so there are times when it can be just like a really incredible, incredible item. Um, maybe not in the instance <laughs> where you pick it up thinking it's Leo, but eh, whatever. <laughs> I mean, we are at 0.779. Our movement speed is not where it needs to be. Um, Luckily, it kind of is like it fixes itself when it needs to, in a way. Because if you're in a room that has enemies, you gain movement speed slowly, so the movement speed is just an annoyance for traveling in between rooms. But still, I mean, I'd almost prefer having a constant movement speed than one that shifts. It makes it really, really hard to, like, gauge how quickly you can move because it's always changing. Like, you can't calibrate yourself as easily because it's always a changing changing scale. So there are times where you're, like, zooming around the room and you're like, oh, yep, I'm getting close. But you're used to having that slow movement speed. There we go. On the bright side, it does... <laughs> I know I'm, like, going back and forth right now, playing a little bit of ping pong with my opinions, but... It does kind of solve an issue of having super, super low damage, because if you can't finish a room in time, it's just going to end up proccing, and then you don't even need to worry, because then you can just contact damage, kill most things. So that is a plus of it, but, you know, blah, 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 this, 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 that, this, that. Yep, this is what... 3.08 damage looks like though. Not very fun.
we will most definitely be checking out the shop. And, ugh. I really want to use a bomb fly again to open up these chests or anything. Ugh. But it's a huge pain in the butt. Okay. Ugh. Oh. Was that the play? Man, that was sick. <laughs> that was kind of the play. <laughs> if it had given us something cooler, I would have been like, wow, that was just so genius. But <laughs> We got the push pin, which is a good trinket, but I don't know if it's better than the petrified poop. We'll take car battery just as a precautionary measure. Let's see what we got in the item room here. Metal plate is good. Gives you a chance to reflect um, incoming shots that are fired at Isaac. Pushpin might actually be... No, 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 no. We're early enough in where we still have th three more shops and that money is kind of invaluable. And we are one away from Guppy, my friends. Yeah, get away from me. We get an orbital, so this kind of is like the self-fulfilling prophecy right here of me being like, what's a dream item? An orbital. Let's see our damage, though. It's pretty awful. Cannot wait for us to get our Taurus going. There we go. Not even going to worry about the spider unless he decides to come over here. And a no deal with the devil, which is a bummer. I think we knew that. 33% is pretty low chance. We'll just keep on heading down. Ooh, that room is tempting, and I think I will do it. Cursed Skull is not what I'm looking for, though, but... Three bombs is what I'm looking for. Also, okay, Mega Fatty, you need to chill out. I mean, that was not great movement around him to begin with, but I don't know. Also, wait, our Taurus isn't building. Uh, I should have known this. I think I did know that it wouldn't, it wouldn't work on challenge rooms, but that was partially the reason why I was okay with doing this too. But we can, we can suck it up. Mega Fatty luckily putting himself in the perfect perfect position for Lost Fly to kind of go to town. Thank you, Ball of Bandages. Um, for the protection right there. I really, really want to use my Ball of Bandages offensively, but should be careful about our Soul Heart usage. Three bombs for two bosses. I don't know. I don't know if I would take that trade again. Also, yeah. Just all y'all need to freaking go die. Three fatty baddies. Okay, game. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna wait. This... <laughs> Also, the audio sounded really weird there. Like, the music was just percussion. <laughs> Man, I would love to get a guppy run. Not gonna lie. Also, okay, game. Okay, chill out. Chill out, Isaac. For some reason, these void rooms have just been spawning like a crazy, crazy amount of enemies. Yeah, we'll just bomb you. Just get another nickel.
Yeah, really trying to hope that we can do something about this movement speed. Because it is bad. Getting myself in a lot of bad situations because of it. Also, really happy we had the two two of spades cards come through because now we're going to be getting a bunch of golden chests because of Guppy's tail that we picked up. Which has a one third chance of turning every time an item drops into gold chests. If we can get Mom's Key, um, incredible synergy. If we get Humbling Bundle, again, incredible synergy. Uh, but yeah, that's that's why having a bunch of keys, why you need keys if you're going to be picking up Guppy's Tail. So that was very, very satisfying. We can also get into here for only a half soul heart because I was... Also, I'm going to see if I can manipulate this room to let me get out for free also. I want to kill one of them. There we go. And I don't want to kill this one until I get into the movement mode. Cool. Get out for free. This is a fun little trick you can use with Taurus. Um... To get into curse streams for free. There we go. Get another golden chest. Okay. Pretty bad damage. Hey, that'll help. <laughs> oh, okay. Apparently I didn't kill that second poop. We do have three soul hearts on demand. So that's a huge bonus right now. Also, money. Let's go. Really hoping for a good shop. This floor is ridiculous, too. Also, I feel like Petrified Poop has not been paying out as much as it should be. We have, like, pretty good luck and Petrified Poop. Like, I don't, I don't really get what's going on. Also, unbelievably, we are only now finding our item room. After what is probably like 20 rooms? Nah. Like a little over 10. But still, <laughs> it's a lot. And we get Dust Touch. <laughs> I don't even care that it's a slight tear up. Um, the damage and piercing from Dust Touch is too, too good. We take Dust Touch every single time in this scenario. And yeah, we just went from 3. Point whatever, 3.08 damage to 6.5 in the span of like three rooms. So thank you, Golden Chest, and thank you, Item Room. Also, amazing, amazing, amazing to clear rooms like this. Wish I could get to that. But we will check out our shop. Not really that surprised. Um, but still, we will be in a good position for either of the next two shops with 51 cents. Would love to donate some of this, obviously, but we will see what happens. We're not in one-run ter territory yet, but we made significant progress um, on this floor to get there. See, we're chunking down, um, staying pretty good right here. Especially if we can get Taurus to proc, I can really do some damage. Yeah. There we go. No deal with the devil, but we will take this health, which is essentially th three soul hearts, and keep heading down. Ooh, Curse of Darkness, no big deal. 
really just would love a speed upgrade. Actually, a blood bag might be the perfect item. I probably should have played that blood donation machine, but it's okay. We only had one heart at the time, so playing it is kind of a, a task to so, like go out and come back in and get more hearts, so I'm, I'm okay with it. Okay, Roid Rage is my ideal item right now. Sad Onion is also very good though. Getting us back to five tiers, um, the soft cap for our tier limit. I mean, we got really good damage right now. I'm really happy we didn't grab that push pin also because it would have been irrelevant now. Seeing how we have permanent spectral tiers with death touch, death touch. <laughs> But, yeah. Also, Death's Touch being um, able to go over over item, over blocks. Oh, no, I can't. Thought I could for a second. Is it the Ouija board that can do that? Or Spirit of the Night? I don't know. There's one of those items that can like fully shoot through everything. I know Continuum lets you do that, but I feel like there's another item that does as well. I was really hoping that that Larry would be blue so we could get a soul heart, but it's okay. Nice. Any bombs at this point are fantastic. Been really low on bombs this entire run. Pretty sure the secret room is right here. We'll take a gamble. I mean, I'm I'm willing to play that a little bit. We'll see. We'll see what our shop gives us, obviously. If we ever find our shop, but I think I'm ready to get let go of the petrified poop, which is one of the reasons why I'm willing to play it. But I'd also be cool with get picking up some more soul hearts. Oh, this room is rough. Really have, glad we didn't get hit by a champion, but even so, the room is pretty nasty. Find our shop or what could be a library. Yep, we got a shop. I think I re-roll this. Not too interested in, it, in this by a soul heart. I'm just gonna manually reroll. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna buy it. We have money. I am also gonna buy mom's purse. Two of hearts, okay. Oh my god, a steam sale. We gotta try and get one more cent. Man, that one cent comes back from me playing that. <laughs> well, there we go. Playing the <laughs> tarot machine or whatever at one time. <laughs> whatever, honestly. Taking me out of the room is totally fine. We miss out on like a single payout. But otherwise, I'm okay with this. Another chest. Got a dime. Holy shit. <laughs> also, uh, I don't think it's here. I'd be really surprised if it's there. But yeah. So, we're going to buy the steam sale. I'm going to... I'm going to reroll. We got BFF, which I am going to take along with a half price soul heart. And yeah, that was a great floor. Really, really great shop too. Uh, can't be there. I think it's up and to the right, but at this point, I don't. I don't really care enough to go looking. 
It could be here. The secret room. Super secret room. No, it's right here. Wow. Very, very surprised that we didn't find it. Oh, I guess we were already in the super secret room. That's why. Duh. Duh. I don't know. Sometimes I totally forget that I've gone into the secret room or super, super secret room. Get an angel deal, which actually is kind of interesting. But Dead Sea Scroll freaking sucks. <laughs> We're going to take it um, to go with deal with the angels, and we will blow up the statue to get a angel piece. Who knows? We might end up doing a Mega Satan run. Again, the reason I'm okay with doing this is because we have... Guppy's paw, which means we guarantee we are guaranteed to have Polaroid invincibility. Yeah, and here we are, depths two at thirty minutes in. <laughs> I don't know; it hasn't really even felt this long. I guess I've just been kind of like coasting through. Um, Nothing's been that scary. Uh, we had some low damage, but otherwise this run's been pretty, pretty nice, nice to us. I asked for damage, and we got damage. Um, movement speed is the next big, big thing on my list. Then I'll have it all. Oh. So I'm gonna I am gonna manipulate this enemy to give me invincibility and then go into the cursed room. I almost I almost messed that up. And so now I want more enemies in here. Ideally ones that will not die immediately. Sometimes it's hard to milk it, but we're capable. Almost. There we go. Blind rage, yeah, for sure. Um Letting our invincibility last for longer uh, is he awesome. So, so good. Secret room might be here. What is with this money? We've had insane luck with money in this, this run. So this champion hopper needs to get out of here. I'm cool with, with Bomber Boy. We needed more bombs anyways. Just need to be uh, extra careful when, when placing them now that they will fire in a square or like T-shaped explosion. Lowercase T, that is. It'd be cool if you could like somehow draw out what it would be. Also, really bummed that this dude didn't want to explode that rock. But we got it. I'm going to take Luck of the Draw over Petrified Poop. Thank you for your service. You were very helpful, but at this point, we would love to see some more cards dropping. I'm going to just re-roll the way I look. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do this. Don't know. Uh, kind of worth it. We got one of our keys back. Man, I really hope we get something good from an angel deal. Um, I would love to have a really great angel deal run. Um, they're just riskier. Uh, you don't get as as many good items, and yeah, I don't know. Not much else to say about it than that. They're just so the, so the items are just not as good, and I want all the good items. I want brimstone. I want mom's knife. I want you know, death touch. I mean, these are the items that win you games, keep your streak going. But sometimes the game don't work like that. 
Uh, we are just going to first donate as much money as we can before grabbing the 9 volt and that card. Maybe get up to 200? <laughs> nice. That's huge. Big question is 9 volt or card first? I think we take the card, and that is not anything we want in our inventory. Hopefully, get a scent off of the keeper. Actually, we get some scent from our donation machine, but that is okay. Again, totally forgot that I have Bomber Boy after saying, let's not forget we have Bomber Boy. Nope. Ooh. Get a vault of some sort. We are running low on keys. How hard do we go here? Probably pretty hard. <laughs> I can't help myself. Get our key back there. We get Guppy. Amazing. Don't even need to use the deal with the devil to get Guppy. What's up? Get at me. Really, really glad we went hard, so hard on that chest. <laughs> totally think it was worth it. And where's the boss? Oh, yeah. So there you go. Um... Guppy off of a non-devil devil deal is pretty rare, so we were able to pull it off. We are going to grab the Polaroid and kind of just cruise through the second half of this run. Get another deal with the Angel, and frick yeah, let's let's do it. Uh, yeah, that's just more stuff to re-roll, or um, not re-roll, it's a bummer boy again. Here we go. We probably will be going and fighting Mega Satan. Um, between having blind rage and all of this health, um, it's we're good. I wish I had some sort of mapping so I could kind of fly through this. Also, that was some of the worst damage I've ever taken. I cannot use any more keys now until I find more. Because I want to be able to open chests when I get to the chest. Ay, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's worth, um... Going, getting that blind rage now or waiting I'm trying to decide wow a joker card let's go into yeah so we have a 71 percent chance of a another angel room so I think we we just go for that, and I'll use the Joker card if we do not get it, but really hoping we do. Luckily, kind of make a, make a beeline straight to the boss here, and we get a black heart. All great news. We can steal strength. a free three soul hearts with that strength card. It's awesome. Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> The game is too smart. It knew. It knew. So, no deal with the angel. Um, take the box. Whipworm. And whipworm. Whipworm, whipworm. Get another card. Some hearts. We definitely want blind rage. Yeah, we'll do Blind wit Rage, Whip Worm, and we'll, yeah, just head on down. I'm trying to think, should I use this Joker card now, or on the next floor? Should use it now. <sighs> Holy water. Kind of gotten some trash items from the <laughs> deal with the angel, but that's the deal with the angel. Okay, so 67% chance of the door opening and 71% uh, chance of that being an angel room. So 
we can definitely open this. More money. We can actually take that. We do not want that, though. Eh, I mean, we could take it, but I don't want it. I'm going to check this out. Yucky. Yucky. <laughs> What else is dope? Um, Hero came out for the Switch today, uh, for Smash Bros, that is. Uh, very excited to try him out. After this run, I'm going to pop in Super Smash Bros Ultimate and give him a try. He has, like, an insane amount of special attacks. It's, like, 14 special attacks that are randomized. It's insane. Very, very excited. The character looks awesome. I like, I really like all sword, sword fighters in Smash. I know some people are probably annoyed that it's like yet another sword fighter, but in my opinion, I think it's totally fine. He speaks to like the Japanese Japanese audience who plays the game, and then ooh, and then we get Banjo and Kazooie uh, for the next update. So I didn't should not have opened that. And I really hope that we get a key. It's such a hard habit to break. Um, at this late in the run, you're normally like set on keys, so you don't have to, like, be holding yourself back. So any any red heart upgrades are fine at this point. But yeah, it's, like, hard to change the habit of, like, being like, no, I can't open every chest because I will run out of keys. I think I'm just gonna bomb you and hope that you give me a key. You give me two keys and another health upgrade. This is kind of insane. Heart is not gonna have fun against all these flies. Nor is she when I go into full rage. <laughs> we got the void. I mean, we could totally, totally, totally beat um, Delirium, but I. Eh, could be fun. If it opens up after. If it opens up after the chest, I will do it. We are guppy. Got another soul, eternal heart. I have no idea what's going on. Also, what the f heck is that? <laughs> All those soul heart drops. And yeah, look at look at us. I can open this. Abel. My dude. <laughs> Fuck you, Abel. Uh, I really hope that they buff Abel and, uh, what is it, the next update? Revelations or whatever it's called. I can't re quite remember. Repentance. Repentance is what it's called. Also, yeah, we have slowing when we hit. We should have We should have gone to Delirium. My bad can't open that. If Delirium opens, now we can open it. If Delirium opens after um, Isaac here, I will. I will go and fight him. I really just wanted the four items that are all probably going to be trash anyways, so really jokes on me. Getting Guppy is just, like, the best. Also, chariot card. Cool. Can't open you. Also, I really hope that this is the right way to the boss. Now we can go open it. God, money. Money equals power would be amazing right now. Also, that, um... Rotten Penny is actually really good, but we have we already have fly 
creation via Guppy, so we don't we don't need it. The extra, extra, like, two flies that we'll get from picking up money. Like, we're so set. I think Blind Rage and uh, Whip Worm are probably the better option. I did see that Tinted Rock, and it might have Small Rock in it. I'll go check after we kill Isaac here. <laughs> Sweet, there we go. Bye, Isaac. No delirium. Still one more chance. Also, what the frick? Another eternal heart? <laughs> Ugh. I just, I'm in awe. I'm in awe. If anything, we will get to fight Mega Satan, so. There's that, at least. Curse of the Darkness. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at that fat, fat tier upgrade. <laughs> and having Whipworm also, oh boy, our, our flies are going to be pretty gnarly. Feel bad for anything that wants to spawn. Okay. Yeah, you just, you gotta go. We can't take Dead Onion. <laughs> it will totally destroy our fire rate. And we already have Spectral Tears, so it, it gives us nothing. Gemini is cool, though. Nice. Nope. Uh, the planet is cool, or whatever it is. The orbit thing that it sucks in the black hole, right? It's good, but we don't want it now. Gotta be spies. The better item. Nice. Book of Shadows. Gotta be spies still what I want. Because I'm still ho holding on to the dream that we can make it to Delirium. Wow, our damage is insane. I'll take the trail. <laughs> I mean, our tier rate is zero, <laughs> but our damage is fucking nuts. <laughs> Oh my god, and that solves our uh, fire rate issue a little bit. It only goes up by three and kind of nukes our range. Ugh, this is hilarious, honestly. This run, it's... Oh, it's so weird. We have the golden sword, though. Anything we hit is, like, pretty much instantly dead. Also, that aura that we're, we're doing um, from infestation or um, whatever it is, is really, really helping out. All right, here we go. Really, really hoping for a delirium fight. If not, we will loop back and take out Mega Satan as a way of saying thank you for watching. And also, like, this run is too strong not to. If you don't get it, there is a chance that we can get a portal from Mega Stan, but... We will figure that out when we get there. Might as well do a full clear. We're doing awesome damage. Maybe we'll get some cool items. Mr. Mega is a definitely a cool item. What do we got? That's nice. Clears our Curse of Darkness. Man. Polyphemus. Eve's Mascara. I mean, God, 43 damage? Come on. I mean, all we need now to be is, is to be 
Black uh, Black Judas or Dark Judas. Also, now our tier rate is going to go way up. <laughs> Heart. 13 tier delay with this damage. Okay, good luck, game. Good luck, Mega Stan. <laughs> Fast bombs. Nope. Alright, last item. Scatter bombs, you're. I didn't want you, but whatever. Oh, I should have saved that Ansys rune, but it's okay. Let's go! Oh, I let go of the trigger, so we're gonna have to reset our Euphoria, but uh, it's not really a big deal. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Oh, it's gonna reset my Euphoria also. stay here and instantly shred the enemies. I don't even care if you try to hit me. That was my bad. I was trying to place a bomb and be slick, but there you go. Peace Mega Satan. Thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully catch you on the next episode but until then I will see you later while Isaac figures out if he's a demon or not inside this chest. Alright, I'll see you later.